because my hips don't lie and it's starting to feel you both. Oh, sorry. What's going on, everybody? Patrick Ali here with Caesar North America. Now, we threw it out there. You voted. Caffeine Fiend it is. Now, for me personally, I don't drink coffee. However, my gift to you is another Crafting with Patrick segment that we're going to go over to make your coffee station uh, a little bit more complete. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, everybody. So today we're going to do kind of a fun project. Now, this is something that's kind of new to me, uh, but what we're going to do is we're going to kind of learn together. So uh, what we're doing today is actually what's called a reverse canvas. OK, now I just want to grab this really quick and show everybody what the final result looks like uh, before we get started with our project. If you want to see how I made this image, go ahead and click on the top right hand corner of your screen. This is all just one canvas that I took apart, basically put the canvas on the back side of the already existing wood frame, painted it, added a little bit of easy weed on it, and uh, this is what we're going to actually end up doing today. So let's jump on in. So a couple of things that we're going to need for this project, we're going to go ahead and need a canvas. Now uh, the canvas that I chose is a little bit larger, you can do smaller, it depends on the area that you're working with. Um, and then also we're going to need a screwdriver or a stap uh, destapler. Now most of us in our house, if you're anything like me, I don't have a uh, staple remover. So I just use a regular old flathead screwdriver. We're gonna do some twine. Uh, that's gonna allow us to hang our project when we're all done. A craft knife or a box cutter is gonna help us as well, and we'll go over that in a minute. And last but not least, any kind of industrial stapler. Now, I bought one of these here at a, at a home goods store. Um, it was something that was specific for crafting. However, I know there's some low-grade ones, a little bit smaller staples. This just happened to be what I found. Uh, so, we'll hop right into it. Alrighty, so here's how we're going to start this off. I just want to explain to you how a canvas is constructed to show you how we end up with that final project. Now on the back side of a canvas, if you flip it over, you'll notice it has actually a wood frame. The canvas is then stretched over it and then uh, folded onto the back and stapled so you get that nice smooth surface whenever you're painting or whatever you're going to do with your canvas. With that said, what we're going to do for this project today is we're actually going to remove all of the staples around the canvas itself. That's going to expose our wood frame and it's also going to allow us a flat surface to do what's called a reverse canvas that we'll explain a little bit further uh, in this video. I'm gonna go ahead and remove all of the staples uh, and then we'll go from there. Um, I always recommend actually taking my flathead screwdriver and pushing it underneath a little bit into the wood, make a small impression. It'll allow you to actually get up underneath that staple a little bit easier. Now that we've taken all of our staples out of our canvas here on the back side, I'm going to go ahead and put away uh, my flathead screwdriver and we're just going to basically take the backing off the canvas and now we're able to cleanly remove what's going to be our frame. Uh, let's kind of hop into how to make sure that we measure this canvas properly uh, so we can get it cut and fit onto the frame itself. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my canvas, okay, I'm going to take my heat press Right now I have the heat press set to 305 uh, for 15 seconds because that's what we're using for our easy weed uh, when we actually lay our image. And all I really need to do is kind of iron this flat. Use a cover sheet, guys. Cover sheet, cover sheet, cover sheet. There's some people in our office that don't like to use a cover sheet. Uh, not mentioning Rob. But with that said, we're going to put a cover sheet on top so we don't get it sticking on the uh, top platen. Just press it down for a few seconds here just so we can take this off get a nice flat canvas that we're able to work with, okay? Now that we have our canvas uh, on the table and it's flattened, I actually took the positive side or the white side of the canvas and I'm putting it down on the table, exposing the back side. Now what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna take my wood frame, I'm gonna place it on the canvas and we actually want to cut away uh, any of the excess. So the way that we do this, just throw your frame on there, grab a pen, Always check, make sure your pens work. This one works. And I'm just going to trace basically the outer edge. With that said, I'm gonna take my frame, just kind of place it to the side for now. Now I have my canvas, uh, and I also have my line of my wood frame. What I'm basically gonna do is I'm gonna take my scissors, and instead of me cutting directly on the line, uh, and you know most carpenters who use table saws kind of know this, I'm gonna cut on the inside of the line. I'm just gonna go ahead and cut this out. And it doesn't have to be perfect, guys, because remember, we're just putting this on the back side. Now we got this, we're gonna put this all to the side. We have our canvas laid out. And again, remember guys, it's the back side of the canvas that I'm exposing right now. I always like to just put the wood back on the table 
take my canvas off and just double check to make sure that nothing's exposed here uh, on the tops, the bottoms. Looks like I'm pretty good on the fronts and the back. Awesome. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my wood frame, put it on the table, make sure again that I don't have any exposure of canvas. Take my pen one more time, and I'm just gonna make a small dot, okay, on each corner of my canvas. And the reason why I'm making a small dot on each corner of my canvas that when I pull it up, and you guys might not be able to see this very, very well, I have my work area of where my image needs to go. So now what we're gonna do is go over step three of this project. Now step three is gonna be to paint uh, our wood frame or stain it, just like we did in the last video. You can paint or stain anything. Uh, so we'll just kinda hop into that now. So we're gonna set our canvas aside, like I said. Now we're gonna start working on our wood frame. Now, with that said, I wanna make this very clear to everybody, you do not have to do anything with the wood frame. Uh, I prefer to paint or stain. I just like the look of, of stain, I like the look of paint, so that's what we're gonna do today, and it just, again, it fits my design that I made, so that's how I'm making this work. Um, so I wanna take, you know, newspaper or a backing tape, something that's gonna protect your table. Uh, you guys have all seen this before, I know, in the last video, so we're gonna use a little bit of paint. Uh, we're also going to use a paintbrush. Uh, foam brushes are what I like. It gets you in all the nooks and crannies, make sure that everything's clean. Take the paint, flip it over once, give it a little shake. Again, that top is like a little paint tray for you, okay? So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is just start to fill in all of the gaps. Uh, I'm gonna finish this up, let this dry, start on my cut file, uh, and then we will see you back here to do the rest. So now that our frame is dry, what we're gonna go ahead and do is on to the next step, which is placing our image on our canvas. Uh, and then also what we're going to do is show you how to now do the reverse side of that, uh, the portion of this project, which will make our reverse canvas kind of pop, okay? Alrighty, again, we're using Easy Weed today. First, we're gonna go ahead and use our Easy Weed Black, okay? Second, we're going to use Easy Weed Bright Red. I have Easy Weed Tan. And then I also have a Silver Easy Weed. Okay, so I'm gonna use all of these here on my uh, canvas and that's what's going to create our image. So first thing I wanna do is I'm gonna go ahead and lay down my cup, okay? So I can, again, I can kind of line this up and eyeball it. I know where my area of, uh, of placement is thanks to the dots that I, I pre-did. And I'm also gonna do this in two steps here. I'm gonna put my uh, Easy Weed Bright Red on there as well uh, because I know that that can go a little bit above the cup. So that'll look fine just like that. <clears throat> use my cover sheet. Again, uh, using the one to two second tack method because we are using multiple layers. Okay, go ahead and take that off. Take that off. Now, we can add a little bit of steam to our coffee cup here. Cover that up again. Again, using my one to two second tack. Remove that. Now for this particular image, uh, I did a foreground and I did a background. So this is actually gonna be in the background. My words are going to be in the foreground, so I'm gonna line those up here. So just like that. Looks about good to me. We can hit it just to show on camera for another 14 seconds. And then while we're doing that, we'll go ahead and prep our wood sign. So with that said, we have our wood sign is already painted. Uh, while that's going, I'm just gonna flip it over. This is gonna expose the back side or the flat side to your wood sign. <clears throat> Remove our image from the heat press. Now we have our image that's actually on our canvas, okay? Now we've already made sure that we've painted, prepped our sign, or well, our frame, should I say. We're just gonna turn that to the back side. Now, I'm not necessarily worried about this not being painted, you can. Uh, again, this is something that I don't really pay too much attention to because most of the time it's on the wall. Uh, I'm gonna take my sign, put it positive side down, so it'll see or it'll show what I want. Now, I'm gonna flip this over really quick. We're just gonna make sure that this still lines up the way that we want it. I'm gonna go ahead and grab my stapler. And I'm just gonna start on one corner, 
that I know is exactly where I want it, okay? So I'll flip this over. I did one corner there. Again, I'm constantly checking to make sure that if this is all tight or taut, that's our, gonna be our word of the day, taut, that <clears throat> I'm not gonna see my, my uh, canvas on my frame. Now, a quick fix, and I did this kind of intentionally, but unintentionally, if you pay close attention to my canvas, the way I cut it, you can see the black line, which is the frame, goes away right here, and then you can actually see it come back. What that means is that my canvas is actually overlapping the front side. Now, to the, to the eye, you're probably not gonna see it. A quick fix is, I'm gonna actually take a little piece, I'm just gonna fold it over like so, and then what I can actually go ahead and do is staple right on that fold, and that'll fix my problem, okay? All right, perfect. So, now, when I go ahead and lift up my sign, I have a perfectly done framed in reverse canvas wood sign uh, that I can put anywhere in my house, decorate the office. Actually, this particular one's gonna go in our kitchen upstairs. A uh, smaller one that I did this morning is actually gonna go in the kitchen uh, downstairs because, you know, these people work hard here and they deserve it. If you have any questions on this particular image or you have any questions on the things that we're doing here, never hesitate to go to uh, info at CaesarNA.com. Reach out to us. Also, don't forget to uh, click subscribe on our YouTube channel. Smash that like button for more content. If you want to get involved, every Friday we're doing a new poll, uh, and you actually get to decide what we do. So basically, my fate, Rob's fate, Lily's fate, Joe's fate is in your hands. So go ahead and participate on that. That's going to be on Facebook and Instagram. Uh, again, I'm Patrick with Caesar North America. You guys have a great day. Stay crafty, and uh, don't drink too much coffee, okay? You guys have a wonderful day. Bye.